Josh, the judge in Stone's case has now initiated a gag order. His attorneys can't talk at all, but Stone only has to keep his mouth shut in and around the courthouse. Are you surprised by these rules? I'm not surprised because these are the same uh, restrictions that were put in place. If you think about Paul Manafort and Rick Gates, and it really comes down to protecting the integrity of a future mm -hmm. trial. And we know that Roger Stone is very colorful. Um, this isn't to say that he he enjoys this. Obviously, you know, that I can think of no greater punishment for Roger Stone than getting between him and the camera. Uh, but I think it's something he's going to adhere to if he knows what's best for him. And again, it goes back to protecting the trial, protecting the integrity, and not you know having undue outside influence. Uh, but again doesn't mean that he's necessarily going to like it, but the fact that this is something that's been placed on previous witnesses is not as though the government is unfairly punishing him. Shen, we also just learned that the president's press secretary, Sarah Sanders, was interviewed by the special counsel last year. How important could she be to Mueller's investigation, and what do you think they may have asked her? I think she could be very important. Uh, the spokesperson obviously needs to hear a lot of the inside information in order to figure out what the message is, and there's no uh, PR privilege uh, that can protect that. So they want to know what did she actually hear about the spin, the messaging development based on the actual facts. Let's say Trump Tower meeting as mm -hmm. one famous example. And so that could be very valuable. I, I doubt that she's any kind of a target or in trouble herself, but she could be a very valuable witness uh, on that point. And if I could just for a moment to follow up on what Josh said about the gag order, um, having represented Rick Gates at the time of our gag order, uh, I remember that we actually placed a lot of emphasis, and this is public, nothing confidential, uh, the judge and we placed a lot of emphasis on her point that whatever the statements are, they can't substantially prejudice the case. So it's interesting that in some ways it looks like she's thought more carefully since then, only stopping him from talking on the mm -hmm. steps of the courthouse. But that language is still there. So if I were Roger, if I were Roger's lawyer, I would be counseling him, be careful on the, the talk show circuit. <laughs> I also wonder, Josh, because she wasn't part of the campaign, as far as my recollection. So would her part of the Mueller investigation pertain to obstruction of justice? Yeah, I think, I, well, possibly. And, and I think that, you know, she was involved at, at that time. And then if you look at the full spectrum, talking about Sarah Sanders of her you know, role in Trump world, not only uh, then when he was running for office, but then afterwards, a large part of this uh, investigation, at least uh, according to our reporting, what we suspect is that it's the obstruction piece, right? So whenever uh, the president fired FBI Director James Comey, my former boss, it was a question there whether he was trying to uh, influence the ongoing Russia investigation. At that point, Sarah Sanders was very much well in place and in a position to know possibly you know what the discussions would have been and you know as Shan mentioned a uh, spokesperson is so valuable to investigators because they're the people who kind of hear okay yeah I know this being a former government spokesperson you sit down and you say okay what's the center of gravity what do we know and then you the next step is what are we going to say about it and it's that first step what they know that really helps get to their state of mind all right Josh Campbell and Shan Wu good to see you gentlemen thank you both you for well. being here thank good you to see you.